Today we're going to be uh, calibrating our FD90A series detector from Forensics Detectors. These are nice little units, we sell many of them and um, they have a very high following and liking um, amongst our user groups. So this is our detector, um, similar gases such as carbon monoxide, hydrogen sulfide and all the exotic toxic gases usually um, should present zero parts per million unless it's oxygen which is 29%. Um, in air, but all the toxic exotic gases should have zero parts per million as soon as you turn them on. Um, first thing in calibration is we want to tell the detector what the zero baseline is. Although it shows zero, make sure you continue to do this. Go to the zero screen as I showed you, press save and bang, it's done. Just make sure you're in a fresh air environment so that the true zero baseline is determined. Next. We move on to the span calibrate, which means we're going to expose the detector to some toxic gas. Um, in the package, uh, in receiving the detector, you should have had your calibration cap, which fits snugly over the top of, this, of the detector. And in this case, we have a gas bottle. It is a Gasco gas bottle, 100 parts per million, um, balanced. Um, and here we plugging it up to a regulator <coughs> that one can dial in the flow rate and we expose the um, detector to the gas. So the way we start span calibration is again, go into the menu screen, gas calibrate, put in our password, which is quadruple eight, uh, press next, and simply tell the detector what the calibration gas level is. In this case, it's 100 parts per million, and press enter, and enter in the gas at 0.5 liters per minute um, you will see the detector rising and we recommend waiting for about 60 seconds so let me come back okay I'm back live after 60 seconds of waiting I've got a result of 102 I will accept that and that will tell the detector that that 102 is actually hundred parts per million and it will calibrate itself so I'll go to enter and the detector default goes back to 100 parts per million which I would anticipate um, and right now we have a calibrated detector that is alarming as it should and operating normally um, let's go back into the escape screen and it's a normal screen so um, let's turn the gas off let's take the calibration cap off uh, here we recommend exposing the detector to fresh air if you want to check your calibration, you can go back and just simply expose it again to validate your calibration data point, and that's basically it. And that is how we calibrate our FD90A series uh, toxic gas detectors from forensic detectors. Have a great day, folks. Bye-bye.